Federal investigators have completed their investigation into the sightseeing helicopter that crashed at the Bloomsburg Fair last night. FAA and NTSB investigators have not said if they know what led to the crash. However, they have released the wreckage to the owner. The helicopter crashed at about 7.30 last night in the sea lot, landing on four parked cars. There were three people on board, the pilot, a woman and a child. We are told they were all taken to the hospital. The Bloomsburg Fair Media Office released a statement this afternoon that reads in part, the Bloomsburg Fair Association works tirelessly to ensure safe and comfortable experiences are had by all guests. While details regarding the incident are under investigation by the FAA and NTSB, we will remain committed to this goal for our patrons and continue to pray for the three persons injured in that crash. Now, many people returned to their vehicles last night only to find that they were parked at the scene of that crash and they had to leave them behind. Eyewitness News reporter Morgan Parrish was there this morning to see the aftermath of the scene and spoke with those returning for their belongings. At 7.30 on Saturday night, this helicopter went down in a parking lot at the Bloomsburg Fair. Three people were on that flight. Police confirmed there was a pilot and witnesses tell Eyewitness News the other two were a mother and child. They were taken to the hospital where they sustained non-life-threatening injuries. We checked to make sure everybody was okay. So once we knew everybody was okay, we were just more were, you know, worried like what was the damage to the vehicle. Fairgoers and fair workers had no idea what was going on as they were not allowed back into this lot to get their cars Saturday night. Well, I was working, making apple dumplings and so I didn't actually see it happen, or I just heard that it had, ha had happened. And then I came out to get in my car, and I wasn't allowed to. I think it was sort of chaotic, I guess. We were in the concert, so we, we got a text message from a friend that said the helicopter landed in the member's parking lot, which we knew we were parked in, so. Arrangements had to be made, including friends helping friends and strangers lending a helping hand. We did have some families that, that needed a ride, the families that couldn't make arrangements either by other family members or friends. Uh, the fair made arrangements to transport them home. Tim Chamberlain helped drive fairgoers home from around 8 o'clock to midnight. Oh, it was kind of crazy. There were people everywhere. So I waited around in the front of the fair there for a while and walked around for a couple hours, and then I just asked my husband to come and pick me up. As you can see, this helicopter landed on four parked cars here in this parking lot. We're told the chopper ended up spewing diesel fuel everywhere. Now the people who are picking up their vehicles today are signing forms, assessing any damage that was done to their cars. They said if we, um, these are a, a lot of glass on it if we uh, go home and there's any damage to let them know. So um, visibly from what we checked though, I don't really see too much, but I don't know once we wash the glass off and everything. In Bloomsburg, Morgan Parish, Eyewitness News. And of course, we will bring you the latest on the investigation into that helicopter crash as it becomes available on eyewitnessnews and pahomepage.com.